So I've driven it around now a bit with the new carburetor on. Surprisingly, it didn't take any adjustments on the idle mixtures. So that this small screw here and the other one here, they do say whatever amount you adjust one, you adjust the other. The instructions are in the uh, manual came with the carburetor. Uh, on the double pumper carburetors, there's two more of those on the back reservoir, but this is a vacuum, it's secondary, it doesn't have that. Um, so, you're going to need, this is the front fuel bowl, and there's two main jets down here, so you need to take this off to to access them. So that you got to take these four screws out. It's also this fuel transfer pipe, which is what fills the rear chamber from the front one. And there's a rubber seal right here that you're going to need to uh, make sure is in one piece. You put a little oil on it when you put it back together. It's light oil. It doesn't take much. I usually take this off just to get it out of the way. Put some rags down here. This is going to drain some fuel on you. So you usually catch that when I take the lower bolt off. So when you go to take this off, this is full of fuel. So you want to you pull one of the bottom ones out first or you drain this. But you can take that out and get a little like a spray can top or something underneath there to catch the fuel. And I also put a rag there to catch the few uh, drops here and there. These are the main jets. And they're, particularly on a fresh carburetor, really difficult to get out. And they're brass, so they're really easy to strip, particularly as the slot goes across the holes. So There's only the edges. So this tool it's actually just from Harbor Freight. It's really good. You had a nice hardened steel blade. It's wide enough to get across. You can push like hell in and have some leverage. So I already pulled these two jets out and the new ones in. So the old ones were 51. They say 51 2. So I'm not quite sure what that means, but these are 53s. They're one size bigger. Would have liked to have probably gone to a 54, but I didn't have a 54, and I do have a 56, and I think that's going to be too big. So they recommend, you know, more than one size up at a time, but this is really subtle, so I'm going to go with this for now. So to put this back together, you need to refit your gasket, make sure it's on the right way around. And that's not it. There we go. You see all these pins. So that's them in. These should be snug. Don't go crazy on them. They're only going to get worse as you go along. So I'm going to put just a tiny bit of, actually, some PV blaster on there because well, it was convenient. And then we need to fit the end cap on again. Make sure nothing fell in there. So you want to get that centered on that pipe. And it'll just push together like so. So when you put your float bowl on, you want to make sure you get the accelerator pump lever underneath the actuating arm. Otherwise, you're going to have to take it back off because there's no way to do it with it in place. And then you need to start your bolt. So I got it all back together. This car has an electric fuel pump, so I turned that on for 30 seconds or so, and I'm just looking. I don't see any leaks, so I think we were good in shape. I can hear the uh, accelerator pump working, so that's all good. So uh, nothing left to do now but test drive it. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.